Good evening, everyone. I'm Liz Pedantis. I'm Kurt Fonger. A judge shows leniency to a Dunbar Village rapist who showed no mercy, but he did testify. Here's a recap of the case. Four years ago, as you remember, as many as ten masked and armed young men barged into a woman's home in Dunbar Village, torturing the mother and her 12-year-old son. Jakaris Taylor, Nathan Walker, and Tommy Lee Poindexter were all found guilty in October and sentenced to life in prison. Now the fourth person charged, Avian Lawson, has been sentenced after pleading guilty and testifying against his three co-defendants. Today, Lawson was sentenced to 30 years in prison, when he could have been given at least 49 years. CBS 12's Kara Kostnich joins us live now with more on today's sentencing. Kara? And Kurt, at today's sentencing, prosecutors asked for 50 years. The defense asked for a term of 10 years. And the judge, as you mentioned, gave Avian Lawson a 30-year sentence, praising him for what she called breaking the bond of silence. Yeah. Lawson, who was just 14 years old when the crime occurred, did not receive a life sentence like the others because he told police about the horrible rape and testified against the three other defendants. At today's sentencing, eight witnesses were called by the defense. All but one described Lawson as a follower. Lawson, who is now 17, briefly spoke in court this morning, saying he was sorry to the victim and her son, who he says will suffer physical and emotional trauma for the rest of their lives. We asked residents in Dunbar Village how they feel about Lawson receiving 30 years behind bars. I just try to put myself in that woman's shoes and, and, and wonder, is 30 years enough? And Lawson will be on probation for 10 years following that 30-year sentence. No word if he will serve those full 30 years. Reporting live, I'm Kara Kostinich.